Buon appetito. Grazie. That's the way to start a meal. <laughs> and finish it. <laughs> and finish it. <laughs> you could have picked any restaurant, Susan, but you picked here. It's my favorite Italian restaurant in New York. It is the best burrata. The Vilmi Paul's, which is my first introduction to Come Prima. Me too. Are to die for. Beet salad I have often. This is my favorite, the Arachiette. The whole team was about going back to the past. So what better than say Come Prima like before? the 50s, the 60s, where everybody was like having a great time. And the food was uh, simple, but made with passion and love, and mm. people just enjoyed it. To sit at the table and be able to eat and mm. enjoy and conversation. Do you feel like we've lost getting we, together conversations? <laughs> we did, because everybody now is on the rush. But it's very easy to go back to the past and say, our mommy used to make the pasta, mm. our mommy used mm. to present this dish on the table, and continue the legacy. To me, this is modern Italian. Although the black and whites are from a different time, the way they are blown up, the way they are unframed, is very fresh. It's you know, I love your fresh take on, on Thank everything. You. And the food is mm. in the tradition of Come Prima, like before, the best. When was the first time you came through the doors here? Salvatore was not quite open yet. <laughs> but not ready. Uh, not ready. Oh, no. But the chef appeared magically, and these veal meatballs appeared, and we were so happy, and they were so good. And every time I come back, I've had many of these dishes that you see. Everyone is, is uh, as Sal said, come primo, like before. You know, some people say, oh, yeah, it was good then, but then I went back and I was disappointed to another restaurant, any, any other mm -hmm. restaurant. This is consistently fantastic. And you have the experience, Salvatore. You've been in this business for, what, more than 30 years? 41. 41! <laughs> I'm getting, no, I'm getting my age away. That's it, 41 plus 14 is fine. <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a, it's a dedication, it's a, it's a passion. Yeah. It's something that you wanted to do over and over again, and everybody, every time you come in, and you leave the place, and you go back home, and you say, like, wow, what a great night. I've pleased so many people, people were happy. The staff was happy to work, the customers were happy to be here and you go home and uh, you said tomorrow is not going to be another show and then you start over again you have to love to be with people and you have to love the food right. and food is uh, a tradition in italy people will sit oh, hours and hours at the table and conversate and eat but cannot be done anymore but you still do six six hours seven hours so you do two good hours and that's what we want we want people to be happy and to the, for the experience and come back for more it is packed every and time we come. <laughs> it's a lot of familiar faces, right. a lot of faces that people who are not from New York would, would recognize as well. But I love we, what you said, Sal, about starting when you were 14. I love that mm -hmm. tradition, and I think it's mostly in Europe that no. anyone who wants to be in this service industry, to, this food right. industry, serves an apprenticeship. Everything is to be done with passion, and I'm passionate about what I do, and I've done it for so many years. I was trying to change a couple of years ago, and then I said, what am I doing? I have to go back to what I did for all these years. <laughs> so I came back. I'm in love with the place, so. I and so we are you. <laughs> and so this is and fantastic. And I love looking around. Your choice of photos, too, is so great. We mm -hmm. see a young Grace Kelly, a young Sophia Loren, a yeah. young yeah. Bridget Bardot. Right at this table, like mm -hmm. Prince Albert from Monaco came in. He said, Danny, and all of a sudden, he looks it over and he says, Mommy. And I thought he was going to ask me to take it down. I said, no, no. He said, it's wonderful. And he has this picture of his mother over there on the wall, so it's, uh, it's fantastic. The way that they lived was like probably the best time ever in, in, in our lifetime. Right. You mentioned the passion in the business, and you as well, so you see that parallel. Certainly I see it reflected in the work that Salvatore does and here. And taste it. Thinking, oh my goodness, I mean, that's exactly how I feel about what I do. And mm -hmm. both professions are very demanding in terms of yes. your time and your yes. attention. I remember often we would say to each other, you couldn't do this just for a paycheck. You have to do it because you love it. And the truth is, I love what I do. I feel lucky to get to do what I do. And I, I know that you are that way. And, and it shows. Your husband's quite a chef. Yes. When you go out to eat, is that difficult? Sitting with someone who, who knows everything about cuisine. Actually, it's been wonderful. I've been eating dinner with Helmut for a long time. This is a good marriage. Helmut loves to cook and I, I love, love to eat, eat, so that works. But if I'm going to sin, I'm going to sin with something fantastic like this, that it's worth it. That's another thing he told me. The calories are the same whether it's terrible food or really good food. This personifies this, yes. beauty and glamour. And I think another hallmark of beauty and glamour is that there's ease. As in any great work of art, there's a certain ease to it. 
And I think Salvatore personifies that. You mentioned getting into the business when you were 14. The business has changed yeah. since then. The day starts very early when all the food comes in. Somebody has to be here ready, preparing, and start to cooking. And then when it comes the actual time that the people arrive, it's like a show, but not a show in the show business. There is showmanship, definitely. Salvatore, what do you find most gratifying about what you do? People come in and they leave happy. I find that the staff is happy because it's, uh, we do this with passion and if uh, they come back, we'll be very happy. So it's about your guest experience? Yes. But it's about also guest, is the experience that my staff has working together. Mm -hmm. And they go home and they say to their family, they say, you know what, they had a great day at work. I have a great boss, I have a great restaurant that I work in. We have a great production, a lot of expectation. People are happy and everybody just thank us when they leave and that's the most gratifying thing. I say thank you because this experience has been welcome. wonderful oh, for you're me. Very welcome. You're very too, welcome. as all the other times have been here. It's spectacular. Yes. Food brings us happiness. Absolutely. I don't want to miss a meal and especially 100%. a great one like this. Hundred percent. Life is good. And we are. <laughs> well thank you very much. You're very it's welcome. been a wonderful Cheers. experience. Salute. 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 Cheers. Thank you for coming. Oh pleasure. Make yourself phenomenal anytime. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers.